Welcome to the tutorial Motor Management and Control Devices Simulcode Pro. In this part I would like to explain the Startup Parameter Block function. First of all, please note the Startup Parameter Block function is important for Simulcode Pro, Profibus or Profinet devices which are connected to a Simatic PLC system. Especially in the somatic environment, there are two possibilities for device parameterization. The common way is the direct parameterization using engineering tools like Simocode ES TIA portal, Simocode ES 2007 or Simatic PDM. All these tools allow a direct one-by-one -one download function via the USB PC cable or Profinet or Profibus interface. This way of parameterization is independent from the PLC engineering or your PLC project, but can be used also in the TIA portal together with your Sematic PLC. But nevertheless, if there is a TIA project for your PLC, it will also include offline parameters for the Simocode Pro system. That means you have to prevent an override by the startup parameterization of your PLC. For this, the startup parameter block option has to be activated. If you recognize unwanted parameter changes, or maybe it looks like a factory reset after power on, please check if startup parameter block was activated and download it to the Simocode device. In my opinion, the direct parameterization is a good way for the commissioning or if you would like to keep the parameterization independent from the PLC project. As mentioned before, in your Step 7 TIA portal project, the offline parameters for a Simocode device are already included as soon you have inserted a Simocode device to your network configuration. If you would like to use the startup parameterization by PLC, it's important to set these Simocode parameters in the right way for your application. Additional, the Profibus address or Profinet device name has to be set to the device according your Step 7 project. If you get a new Simocode Pro device or you restore factory settings, the startup parameter block is always disabled. That means for a replacement you only need to set the Profibus address or Profinet device name to the new device and the startup parameterization will give the correct parameters to this new device. Additional to this, if you have a Profinet topology at your Step 7 project, you also do not need to set the Profinet device name to the new device. That makes the replacement very easy. To sum up, if you would like to use the direct parameterization or the startup parameterization, always be aware of the setting of the startup parameter block. Now let me show a short demonstration how to switch from a direct parameterization to a startup parameterization. Here we have our PLC project which includes a Simocode Pro device just with a default parameterization. As you can see it's just the basic unit and the default current measuring module. The I.O. address for the PLC programming is already assigned. IP address and device name is given. And the startup parameter block is activated at the moment. As next step, we have a look at the online device parameterization. Just go via online access and your network card to the accessible devices.
Let the symbol code parameters we go to the profile map settings and remove the startup parameter block. Don't forget to download this change to the device. Now I will try an upload of the online parameters to my project. The upload of the parameters as new station is not possible because the Profinet device name is at the project and at the online device the same name. I just rename it to PUMP2. After this, the upload works fine. As next step, I disconnect the old station from the subnet. The new uploaded station gets connected to the PLC system. As we can see, we have the full configuration and the I.O. address range is the same as before. We now can remove this old station from the project. And now we can save the project and load this new configuration to the PLC. Start the PLC system and the startup parameterization happens automatically. That's it for today. If you want, please press the like button and give a subscription to this channel. Many thanks for watching and have a nice day.